The Sports Report is sponsored by the people-pleasing people at Sarah Auto Park in Akron. Hey, listen, we can talk about the Guardians and we can talk about the Browns and we can talk about what happened to the Cavs in the playoffs. But I love when we talk about this stuff. A big congratulations tonight in our sports moment, and that goes out to the Case Western men's tennis team. They win the NCAA Division III National Championship. How about that? They did it down in Florida, defeating Tufts University from Boston by a final of 5-2. to two. There it is. There's the moment that they clinched it. And the great celebration of that victory. It is the school's first team national championship in school history. That's a great moment. Aww. And we're going to have that moment even a little bit more. Let's go down to Florida right now. Bravo to these guys <laughs> right here. Head coach Todd Wolkowski and James Hopper, All-American in singles and in doubles. They are still in Florida because the individual part of the tournament is picking up. Congratulations, coach. I'll begin with you. 15 years there. What a crowning moment, huh? Oh, certainly a crowning moment. And I, I love how you how you brought up the big three sports that we have here in Cleveland um, and that we took down the team from Boston because it was in 2014 <laughs> when, uh, you know, LeBron wasn't here and it was the 50 year anniversary from the last time that any team in Cleveland had won a championship. And uh, we read an article that year that said, and it's not like Case Western's winning any national championship oh. soon. <laughs> so that bulletin board material has been All hanging right. up for quite a while. That's right. Congratulations on that. Um, I applied to Tufts as a kid growing up in Boston, did not get in. So I congratulate you even more for beating Tufts <laughs> in the final. Way to go, coach. Uh, hey, James, you have a great story um, and you're an All-American and you play great in singles and in doubles. But you did not make it on your high school tennis team, your freshman team, when you were in high school. Can you relay that story to us? Yeah, um, you know, I definitely, my high school was a very competitive tennis team. And growing up, I played a lot of soccer along with tennis. I hadn't really, um, you know, decided on one sport. So going into high school, I really, I, you know, I had a good coach. Um, found a good coach in the Princeton area and really focus, decided to focus on tennis and throughout high school just focused on development and you know I'm just grateful that Coach Todd here gave me a spot at uh, Case and you know the rest is history. Coach tell me about when you knew this team was going to be special and that it might have the goal and reach that goal of winning a national title. Well, I, that's an easy question to answer. So when COVID hit in 2020, obviously a lot of sports came to a halt. And right. um, we were we were roaring. I mean, we, we were on a roll and uh, it had stopped. And these these guys, these seniors, he's in a class uh, with a group of other guys, four guys. Case had said that freshmen will have dorms and the sophomores would need to move off campus or they could do their schooling online or on Zooms. And uh, these seniors, they, they got a house next to Roxboro Elementary School, and they said, hey, look, if we're going to do this, we're going to do this together. Wow. So they lived, to, they lived together in that house. They trained together throughout that time where no one was allowed to do anything. Right. And uh, we emerged from there making, obviously, three straight national championship matches and obviously third time's a charm. We finally got over the hump, and, and uh, we're on the winning end of it. James, tell me, do you enjoy singles or doubles more? You're very, very, uh, very talented at both. Uh, I personally would have to say doubles. Wow. Uh, it's just a lot more energetic. Um, you know, being out there with a teammate is a lot more fun. Um, and I think my uh, growing up, uh, just my game style kind of suits doubles um, a lot better. And, you know, obviously I still love playing singles, but doubles comes a lot more naturally to me. And I think... That in part comes with, you know, my coach in high school. He was a top five doubles, doubles player in the world and uh, helped me a lot with my game. So I think it stems from that um, for the most part. But, yeah, I, I would say doubles. OK, coach, uh, what's left now? Individual uh, individual titles are up for grabs at the Division three national championships. Right. We got the defending national champion right here next to me. Here we go. Um, you you know, so he he's 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 won this. Uh, so he's been through the the process of being in the team national championship for three straight days, and then having to turn right around and go all day in the ninety plus degree heat. Um, so you know, we're we're just taking it one match at a time. Uh, it 
It would be an incredible story, obviously. I mean, we have all three divisions here, Division One, Division Two, Division uh -huh. Three. NCAAs are all in one place. So we had the whole Michigan team, the whole Ohio State team, the whole Virginia team that were all out here watching um, as he clinched it uh, because, you know, that's where he's going next year for his grad years. He's going to the University that? of Virginia. Yeah. Um, you know, and they <laughs> – I think the special thing about that is that, you know, you're kind of sharing it together. And right. we watched the Division II title was Barry, and we actually played them uh, a month ago, and we beat them. So an undefeated season, uh, a, a win over the Division II national champion, the national indoor champion, the UAA conference champion. Uh, it would be a nice cherry on top if we could add the singles and doubles. I think you could start arguing it's the greatest season in college tennis Division three history. I think you're right there. Hey, real quickly, when are you coming home and can we have a celebration? <laughs> Certainly would love to have a parade. Yeah, come like on, I said, been, let's go. I've been looking at that. I've been <laughs> looking at that blog article for 10 years now. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to, we're going to party. We had a lot of fun with our alumni last night at the hotel, but when we get back, we're, we're certainly going to celebrate. And I will do one plug for the tennis in the land event. That's downtown Cleveland. Okay. There's a professional uh, tennis event that happens every August. It's really fun down on the flats. And uh, I think we're going to do something there around that tennis event. Uh, to recognize the team and maybe do even like a ring ceremony. All right. Coach Todd, James, congratulations. Uh, that was great. It really was. Great to have you on the show tonight. And come on home and we will celebrate. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. you. All right. Great job.